Stellias. That's for the end of this unboxing. This is for the beginning, and I don't know what it is, but it's from someone named Umberto. Umberto. And I could go check my records and see who sent me what. But this is from Umberto. Did I buy something interesting? Is it great and amazing? Oh my science. Oh, that's what this is. This is a this is an expensive unboxing. That's right, you didn't have the original box. Thank you, Umberto. I'm gonna have to remember how we packed this because I don't want to pay insurance fees. This is Morant's um, HD1. Oh, the battery cover fell off. I believe this is his return address. To Z, the man of all people. Dude, thank you for saying my personal Morant's HD DAC1 for a proper Zeus review. Blah, 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 blah. From one audio file crossed out slash music lover to another. Thanks, man. I think the return address is in there. That's cool. So, I usually don't accept things that don't come in their proper boxes because I've had bad experiences. Bad, 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 bad. So, let's just get this out of this box. It seems to have made it here, and oh my god! No! Oh god, it's just disintegrated. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. So much oh god. Oh, jeez. Jesus, shit! Everything just went everywhere. Hold on. I need to... This is, this is real unboxings, everybody. I'm not one of those like, hey, what up, this is unbox therapy, and here's the thing that's already been unboxed. I'm not actually going to take it out of the box. Even though this is where the catharsis lives. is in the actual unboxing. But then you get these panic unboxings where I'm like, fuck! This box is pretty gnarly. Uh, get to you in a second, birthday present. Okay, we've got loose batteries. Which probably means this unit got smashed. I just hope it works. Please don't. Just work. Because the worst thing is, like, if I get it, at least get the review out, and then it gets smashed. I know I've insured it properly. Let's hope he's insured it properly. It's fake metal. Rants, why you do this to me? I mean, it's not terrible looking. At least it doesn't have fingerprint magnet thing going on. He sent the power cord, which I should tell people not to send the big power cord. I've got thousands of these, and now i got to remember to return yours. <sighs> now we've got this giant bag. With the polka dots. I want to know what the original purpose of this polka dot bag was, because that's... That is news to me. Let's use that as a base for this review. So for those of you who don't know... There are knobs. He says there's no reviews on the internet. For this thing. Marantz HD DAC1. We've got auxiliary audio in, which is it doesn't even have RCA in. Weird. Give me an aux port. Okay. Digital audio in. You've got two fibers, one coax, and one USB DAC. Then it's got a remote control section with internal and external with a switch. Then another in that's a weird fucking like ribbon connector. And then it has in and out RCAs under the remote control section, so that's again no idea what's happening there. Made in Vietnam, interesting. Then here's the audio outputs. You got fixed and variable, both really nice sets of RCAs. Like these are much nicer made. They actually fan out. The side is burl wood. Plastic. Plastic burl wood. That's sad. It's Vietnam, you got a million trillion trees. Cut one down and put it in my goddamn equipment. Am I gonna crush the corner? So, we've got power, setup, input selector, which is not a button in, it's just a, I said it's a very, very resisting turn. Then we've got volume with a terrible indicator. Just like, it's like a, it looks like a damaged piece. It's just like, whoop. Unless that lights up, that's not a great indicator. Marantz over this round screen thing, and it's like kind of cool, kind of retro, but kind of doesn't have enough space for information, so we'll see how that goes. 
infrared receiver. You got a five volt, one amp USB, probably to hopefully for like a player or something. And then your quarter inch headphone out. It is a weighty little thing. You can see he's put felt pads on it. Not many vents in the bottom. Many, many vents in the top. I think I can see the power transformer. It's this big black brick here. I might pop this top off. It looks simple enough. Take a gander on the insides. I want to look at your insides. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Cause I think they still, it's not like an old unit. It's not like they have, they don't sell that anymore. So why is no one talking about it? It could be the greatest thing ever. The guy says he loves it. We'll leave it at that. Put this with his return address there. And on that, we could probably test out these Stellias. Stalia. Wow, they really could have used a little more tape on this. Um, I will link to the company. Pasta, in the future, I'm linking, you get the link to the company that sent this. It's fun all audio. Um, well, I love you. Well, you could say. Do you want to review a pair of $500 IEMs? Yes, what brand? Okay. Woo! Oh, advanced? Yeah. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. I'm getting emails. Pass is doing emails. Okay. What was those sort of emails I get? Do you want to review these $500 items? I'm like, yeah, I guess. That's about as much enthusiasm as I get, too. It's like, eh. Okay. So, Stellia's. Stellia. I've heard these. And I didn't, I was not impressed by them, Focal. So let's see if spending like a couple really long weekends with them will improve your chances of not being a failure. Ooh, the box is pretty. Please don't fall out of the box. Please don't fall out of the box. Please don't fall out of the box. This is all part of the unboxing experience and I hate it. Like, just give me a box that I open and it's just there. Like the clip, shh, ooh, Jesus. Oh, I will say this, this feels quality. I'm gonna get up my little finger pegs. Oh. Felt lined, oh, that feels good in here. I wanna, li I wanna be miniaturized and live in this box. Does that float? Nope, that's in one spot, glued down. Okay. Sorry, remote. We now have an accessories Bible. Jesus. These are the, this is why you watch unboxings, because you get like, like, yeah, hey, I unboxed a thing, and there was a thing in it. No, you get the Bible, and it lays like, doesn't like pop up like that. It goes flat. So ideally, you would have it like, if I own these headphones, first thing I do is take the shit out of this, because no one needs this shit, and I would be able to present people with like... It's hitting my tomato. But you get it. You get the point. And then there's another... Oh my god, Pasta's gonna lose her fucking shit. I mean, right, let's pull out the cable. I'm not a huge fan of Focal cables. As far as making these feel special, Focal is doing a bang the fuck up job. What is this? They taped around the velcro. Why would you do that? Oh, I wonder if the velcro sticks to the felt. All right. Hold, on. Hold the fuck on. Hold right the fuck on. Okay. Get off my finger, you bastard. Let's see if it sticks. No, it doesn't stick. Why would that? Why would you tape around the velcro? Oh, I hate that when they make like the loop around it. Like, just make it fall off. I'm not gonna velcro this back together. It's got that same shat wire that's just like you have to uncurl it because it's a, it's two wires side by side like this, so they don't just free twist. You know, it's bad when thigh audio phantoms have a better wire than your amazing French-made focales. Nice connectors. Locking three and a half millimeter. Right indicated a bunch of times in the circle. I don't hate this. I mean, this is, I feel like that's gonna stay like that forever. 
What do we got on the other end? I didn't even check. Oh, it's a balanced. It's balanced. It's a new trick. Balanced. Okay, I'm just gonna play this. Place this here. This has to be strewn across the floor to like unfuck itself for about a week. And this, I got, there's got to be a way to make silica gel packets like pretty, and like bury them inside of it so that you don't just have it just sitting there. Like, hey, because your shit's gonna be fucked up. Here you go. So I'll leave it in there because I'm obviously sending this back to the um, website unless they don't want it sent back. In which case, this might be in a yard sale. Jesus. Oh God, there's another cable. Oh God, there's another cable and it's more plastic wrap around my fucking... Deal with that later. So you get two. Uh, and then we get this, which is like... I'm sorry, but I need to have a checkbook now. So I hope they let me keep this because you're getting nothing of this. Beryllium drivers. These are the clothes back, by the way, the focals. I'm just, I'm just, mar this is what you're here for. You're here for the unboxing. Who gives a fuck about the headphones? You're here for the unboxing. This is, this is the, c could you imagine pulling one of these out? Like you're at the golf club uh, and you know, Clinton just threw up in the bushes and you're just like, hold on, I'll, I'll pay for the tab. And you, you unfold your Stelia. You pull out your hundred, your stack of hundred dollar bills and you pay with your stack of hundred dollar bills. I mean, I don't think it's real leather. I mean, it might be real leather. They're expensive, but I don't know. I don't feel like, no, nah, that's not real leather. It's still nice, though. This needs to have a little more weight, a little more stiffness. It's a little bit too flexy. But, but fuck. I mean, just like fuck. And I guess I'll read through all this. Like, never. Put this back into its... Just... Okay, on to the actual headphone. More silica desiccant. Uh, the v zippers are wrapped in rubber, like silicone rubber, because God forbid you touch them. Put that back on there, that's too fancy for me. So, we get two zippers, but they're both on the same side because France! Let's fix that. There's one zipper undone. And there's another zipper undone. Very big zipper. Like the pattern, like the metal inlay. I like how the handle goes to both sides to make it even. Oh, shit. So we've got what? Velcro there? And a Velcro here, but this is more like an extension strap. And here are the Stelia. Oh. What does that say? Cure plein flieu. It's not even in English. They said, fuck you. I'm gonna have to take that off, aren't I? That's, that might pull off. We just these might be one of those headphones that I recommend, even if they don't sound good, just because of the experience of taking them out of the fucking box and the color and this pattern, like that's leather lined or fake leather, or, uh, like holographic in there, and the pads are like super fucking premium. These pop off. I forget how it works with. I forget how it works with uh focal yep there's your driver beryllium there's your vents it should be magnetized at this point focal just just magnets pop holes wow there's like little star screws to get everything out weird vents mm. Mm. Um, the only right and left indicators appear to be here, literally next to the holes. I am very grateful that they use non-ridiculous connectors, though. And they are closed. Like, I am... I don't know if they're Neumann closed, but they are closed. Because that's another thing. The Neumanns exist, and therefore, why? Why anything but the Neumanns for now? Although I have heard great things about those new ZMF closed back Virites. People are telling me they're like the widest, most open closed back ever, so I'm gonna have to judge for myself. Maybe they'll be unboxed in a later video. A little foam around there to stop some resonance from happening. Okay. Okay, Focal, you've got my attention. But can you actually deliver on performance? Because this is all a lot. This is a lot of stuff. That this all feels 
This feels Louis Vuitton. Although, I can't verify that. All right, that's it for today's unboxing. Two items. Sorry, Pasta had to watch this whole thing just to find out you only have to link two items. I'm sure she'll also link this knife, the unboxing knife, and, just to piss her off, she'll link this Darjeeling. Darjeeling, like the tea. Yeah, she's actually got a tea thing. So this will be linked in the description as well. She had to wait all the way to the end. Mm, and there you go. So, happy shopping. I hope you all have a good time. I'll see you here again tomorrow for another unboxing. It's not leather, it's fake leather. It should be leather next. It's French, but it's not, all right. It should be leather, says the vegetarian. Oh, what, and I like Orbeez? <gasps> Hypocrite. What do you about the inside of this box? Is that made from a dead animal? I don't know, but it's nice. Okay. No, it's really nice. Ooh. How much are these? Uh, a lot. Um, I need to know. Whoa. Whoa. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I just interest you? Whoa. In like the booklets? What is that? Holy fuck. There you go. Hold oh that. Oh my god. Like that's just like. This I f is big dick energy. Do you feel the big dick energy? Do you feel it? Alright, ready? Ready? We're gonna unzip this. Oh, oh. oh, oh. They're okay. Here, put them on your head, see if you like them. These have big dick energy. That's what Joshua Valor has. Yeah, they're not too heavy. Look at that like leather, like, oh. The little, st I can't oh. read it, it's French. All right, so I guess that made, uh, that's proof, proof positive this is a good packing, Great, right? right? Good, moving on. Wait, how much is it? I don't know, 2,000? No way. Stellias? Dang. Echo, how much are the Focal Stellia? One moment. Yeah, you got it, baby. Showing the top results for Focal Stelia. Focal audiophile circum oral closed back over ear headphones, black slash silver. It's six hundred forty eight dollars. Six hundred forty eight dollars. No fucking way. Not for this amount of unboxing. Not in this color.